Hey there! Today I've got a speedy tutorial on how to replace images on device screens when these are included in certain actions of Tom character within the new 3D Creator. Keep in mind, 3D Creator is still in beta version, so not everything's perfect yet. It's a work in progress, but that's a good thing. Take your time to explore and hey, if you spot any bugs, head over to the support page and give the team a heads up. Your feedback makes this product better for all of us. Oh, and and a quick heads up, for now we can only place images on screens with our buddy Tom here. No videos just yet, but finger crossed that's in the pipeline. I've already put in a request for it, so let's hope we can add videos to the PC or laptop screens inside 3D Creator software soon. I'm heading to the logo section, where we can access and update the images that appear within certain actions of the 3D character software. Check out this awesome options we've got lined up. We can tweak the logo on a t-shirt, switch up to the PC screen image, which we're focusing on today, adjust the laptop and phone screens, and even play around with the tattoos. But for today, let's zero in on these three gems. Alright, to get started, I'll head over to the PC screen section and click on it. This opens up our project media folder, where we can pick up images we've already stored in our folders. We've got options to choose from our saved files, global files, or even tap into third-party providers with stock images, all right here in Create Studio. When selecting an image for the PC screen, remember, it needs to be 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I've got three images lined up for this example, each with a different aspect ratio. One's 16 by 9, another's square, and the third is vertical. Let's pick the perfect one for our PC screen. Let's place your chosen image on Tom's PC screen with a simple click. Voila, it's there. Now if we zoom in, you'll notice, like I mentioned earlier, it's not perfect. There's a bit of a filter or something going on. It's a bit faded and blurry. Unfortunately, we can't tweak that just yet. But hey, remember, this is still in beta. So while it's not perfect, it's totally okay for now. Moving on to the Tom showing phone action. Click on the character, either on the canvas or on your timeline. Then head over to the logo to access Access the project files folder. This time I'll select phone screen and choose a vertical image. And voila, like magic, it's replaced the image on Tom's phone screen. Though, gotta admit, the quality on Tom's phone isn't the best right now. Same drill for Tom showing MacBook action. Go for the 16 by 9 image. But yep, we're encountering the same hiccup. But no worries, I've already shot a ticket to the support team about this image quality issue on Tom's devices. Here's hoping they work their magic real soon. Thanks a bunch for tuning in and catch you later.